The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here. This is the Dow Jones, folks. we got history being made today. You can see here that we're at a 1.618 expansion right up in here at 37,980. We're trading at 37,992. Uh, we're up uh, eight, eight, nine weeks in a row, uh, nine days in a row, 12 days in a row, 13 days in a row, whatever it happens to be, that's where we are. You'll notice we have another large ABCD from the October low from last year, folks, when the Dow was trading at 2850, you can see the A, B, C, D pattern measures at 37,900. Now, what I want to do is just show you something that I kept on file, and I just literally, when I pulled it up, I, I was startled because I wanted to share with you just one second here, get this out of the way. This is uh, from a chart from Robert Prechter. Uh, going back uh, three years ago, back in 2021, you notice up here at 2021, he was looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and he was doing the squares of these numbers, excuse me, the square roots of these numbers and the expansion numbers. And as you can see, the 1.618 expansion uh, measured in the Dow Jones, this is the Dow Jones index itself, not the futures, but it measured between 37,775 and 38,530. Folks, we just hit 37,700 in that index just a little while ago. I saw it come across the tape. This is an amazing, amazing thing. Now, of course, it was wrong because, you know, it, it, he thought the top was going to come in. Nothing wrong with that because what he did, the market dropped 40% from this level. There was no question about it. But look at some of the things that he was following that I thought you would get interested in because just to show you some of the things that were going on, look at the high equity ratio. Now, this is 2021. We're way up here, folks. That's one of them. We're going to go through these one at a time because I think they're interesting. This is three years old. Look at record margin. Can you imagine what the margin is now? The margin debt? Holy moly, guacamole. Take the next one here. This was uh, record call premiums. We already know what those are. We see those expanding all the time. We got another one up in here. Uh, record penny stocks have no idea about that stuff. Do another one here. This is uh, record NASDAQ volume. Absolutely no problem making new highs. Got another one here. Record insiders trading. Don't know too much about that one. I can't imagine it be anything but up. And then we have another one. This is that picture that we talked about right here. And I, I liked it so much, I sent it to Prechter. Of course, I don't expect to get a, uh, a response because I said, hey, this is a pretty good call on price. I didn't say anything about time because I'm wrong a whole lot. But uh, here is the chart that I really think you got to pay attention to, folks. There is what it is. Oh, dear. Come on. Please tell me. No. This is not good. I just got it up here. Oh, that's not fine. Uh, unfortunately, I'm in a word thing, and I can't get this thing up, I don't believe. <laughs> Son of a gun. I can't get it up. I don't know why I can't. I don't know why it's in Word, but there's nothing else. I never do any, I don't know how to use Word. Anyway, what it is, folks, uh, you, I, uh, just right-click on the and right-click on the file. I right-click, but there ain't no file there to click. And open with, okay, I'll open it up here. I'll open it with uh, Firefox. Ah, thank you very much, Justin. God bless you. Okay, here it is, folks. This is from uh, this is from the uh, uh, overbought, oversold, okay? And I just wanted to show you where we are now. You see, we're taking out these highs. The only time since 1957 that it moved faster was in September of 1982, and remember, folks, this was after Reagan got elected and he led the bull loose, let the bull loose. That's what his quote, his motto was. 
After that, it went 46%. Stocks went 46% higher into 83, and then came down into 84, 85, and then went up into 87. But look at this, folks. This was unbelievable, the fact that we've never been here. You know, this is unbelievable, the fact that we've up at this level here uh, and able to see, you know, where we are at some of these things, a spam call. So this has only happened uh, once since the, the stock market started trading 200 years ago. So that's a big deal. I think we had to pay close attention to that, okay? There was another one here that I wanted to share with you. We've talked about the open interest one, okay? I've already showed you the Dow Jones. Um, also, we are looking at uh, these. Let's get this picture back up here with the uh, – with the, I want to move back here to the uh, – Go back to the – hold on one second here. I want to get to the uh, weekly ch – uh, monthly chart here. Here's the monthly chart. Okay, now here's where we were on March the 5th of 2009. Of course, you know I was very bullish there. Just wanted to show you folks just the importance of the 382 on the monthly chart. I'm just going to draw these in little by little. I just did this this morning. There was your first one right there, and the market goes way up. So you've got to use that one as your second one. You go from this one up to the next one. I happened to be, there it was right there. I was in um, Clearwater, Florida with Tom. We hit this thing one, two, three times. And you remember this was an election year, if you remember that. Okay, here was election night. And uh, you'll notice that the market was limit down that day. Uh, and the election right after Florida was supposed to have gone to the Democrats, and it didn't. And then the market closed higher on the day. And of course, this is a monthly chart, and away it went. And then we have this other big one right here. This is the COVID, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just get this out and see how some of these numbers work. And you go from your low back in March of that year, and you put this up here, went exactly to the 50%. Remember, this This was when all the airlines were going tapioca, uh, no more flying, nothing. And so we did get to the 50% level here, and then we've gone up. But this is where we're setting right now, folks. We're setting at uh, – we're, set, we're knocking on the door, as they say at a trade. This is mother God and country. If you believe in pattern recognition, if you believe in Fibonacci, if you believe in the Lord himself, uh-oh, sorry about that, folks. You'd never make fun of that, and I didn't mean that in any – bad way so please please forgive me i just this is really set up for uh, a flying walinda and uh, i think the reasoning behind it and we've talked about this several times here uh, over the past weeks because we're waiting for to see the last of these called stelliums where they line up this was march the 5th of 2005 you see how all these are in the same same house like this Eight, uh, eight of the 12, I mean, this, uh, you got these wild ones around here, but th this is the moon. But anyway, they're, they're all at zero degrees. This is what we've got. We're, we're, we're heading into that now. It started on December the 13th, seven days ago. So we're, we're over some real heavy stuff up here. I, I really think so. Uh, that's, uh, I think it's very, very important to, that we pay very close attention to it. The other thing that's happened here is on the uh, – on the open interest, you notice we had those big open interest increases. Let me get these up here. Last week, you can see here, Tuesday, Wednesday, all these bigs. Now look what's happening. You see, we've they started to drop, and that's uh, that's signs that there's no new buying coming in, and that's just short covering. At least that's what history tells us. So, let's take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. 
and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I've been asked to discuss a couple of markets here that we're involved in. Uh, one of them is the crude oil. If you remember, we had Bill Meridian on, on Friday, and he was saying how bullish it was for the period of um, December through March. And we were saying there was your 382 that we were looking to be a buyer of and went exactly – to the price and had a really nice move. But today I said, you know, we made a 61% retracement here. And you'll notice that we got up here, we stayed here for well over two hours. My feeling was because we were at the 61% retracement, okay, and I live and breathe by you know what? A, B, C, D. And there was an A, B, C, D spot on right there at 7503. And I said, I would be exiting here. I didn't say the reasoning behind it. I just said, look for a pullback to buy it back. But the reason why is this is nothing more, folks, than a really nice seven-day rally into a bear market. I know the news is incredibly bullish. Uh, rates for uh, ongoing shipping, uh, shipping rates during in the Red Sea area have gone up 400% this week. 400%. Now, that's going to be pretty hard to maintain that, uh, people shipping stuff, because that <laughs> cuts into the overhead. So that's what I was looking at. So that, that several people asked me, but that's what I was watching. It's that ABCD coming in right there. And the fact that, it, in my opinion, we should have at least gone up into this level right here. I mean, we didn't have that news there. We got the news you know, during this time right here, the last couple of days. So it should have been much stronger. Now, what I will be watching is I'll be watching the low to the high 
because I think this is still a great trade. If we get down here to 72 and a half, that's down a buck and a half. Watch that because that's going to be the one that's going to tell us whether it's going to be bullish or bearish because it's got to hold that if it's really bullish for several reasons. You're also going to be looking at a 61% retracement of this move right here. See, that's the other, there's the other one right there. You see how, see how important 72.50 is? Actually, it's 72.70, but close enough, 72.70. So that's why you want to be watching it uh, very, very closely. Okay, another one that is driving me cuckoo is this doggone cattle. Let me get this over here. We have an order to buy, and it just doesn't want to get filled. You see, we came here within 10 cents of getting filled at the 382, and now it's rallied another $600 to the upside. So it's looking to the that probably won't get there. We're going to leave that order in. We sold the original that we bought back here at 69 and a quarter. So we made uh, seven cents in that move. And what we're looking for now is we're trying to get it bought back. Now, the, the real kicker here is that tomorrow, tomorrow, the piggies are going to have a big crop report. Hold on. I've got to get the other one up here. Just one second here. And I'll show you the pigs because. Uh, We'll get that up here, get the daily up here. And, uh, yeah, see the hogs are backing off just a little bit. See, here's here's where we are. They're below the 382 right now. What we're going to do now is look at those on an hourly basis, just like we did the cattle. So here's where we're setting right at the 382. There was your ABCD, and we got a crop report tomorrow in pigs. It comes out at 11 o'clock uh, Central Time. So that will be, uh, well, be right about, uh, no, be, we, we should be able to see the results of that tomorrow. So we'll be watching. I'd like to see hogs get down to this level right here, and I'd like to see the cattle pull back because this is a perfect ABCD. We've had a long move down. The fact that we started to turn up and we've taken – one, two, three, four days just to make the 382, and we've got this report in tomorrow. So we've got to be able to uh, decide whether we – I don't want to go into a report uh, either hogs or uh, cattle. I don't do those live – well, I don't do it in any of those kind of things, including the, uh, the soybeans and wheat and all that stuff. You want to wait till the report is out. and then makes it a lot better. Than, than trading. Okay, let's get over here to the gold. We had a really good situation in gold last night. Here's where we were. Uh, we sent this out in the video uh, last night, and we said there should be some really strong support. This Gartley right down here at uh, 2042, exactly 61% retracement. We had a nice rally here of 12 bucks, but we didn't. So we keep our stop at break even on that because nothing's changed. It's just backing and filling in here. The worst that happens to you now is that you break even. That's that's all you can do. It would have been nice if you would have been, been able to catch this, but unless you're very, very fast, this took only 45 minutes to do that. And if you weren't right there on the opening, you wouldn't have missed it. And, of course, it went, do you know where, right up to the 61% retracement. So this is what we're, what we're looking at. The only good part about this is it's still got a uh, $500 profit in it. And the second thing is, is that it's had some higher bottoms in here. That's another thing that makes it look halfway decent. So if I were in this gold trade like this, I would move my stop up here to 44 to make sure that I don't lose anything and put a couple bucks in the pot pocket because it's holiday weekends coming up here in a couple of days. We've got the uh, the big uh, solstice, winter solstice uh, tomorrow, and that'll be uh, all the people from England will be over there in Stonehenge. They get about 150,000 people there to do their chanting and stuff every time the winter solstice arrives over there. So that's this one, and we had one other one to look at. That was the cattle. <clears throat> Where is the natural gas? This was been a real rocky – oh, one other one. Let me Let me do the bonds first because we're going to have Mike Moore coming up here pr pretty quickly. The bonds are still setting. <clears throat> Let's get the uh, get the weekly. We're still setting right here, folks. This We sold them at 124.03. We've been here for five days, so I still think this is okay. We might get a little bit higher. We, we're risking 1000 bucks in this, but I still think it's the right thing to do. Eight weeks up, we've already showed you that these were exactly the same thing. This was This was seven weeks in that run. This was eight weeks in this run, and they were exactly equal. So that's another thing to say that we should get a little bit of a pullback here 
uh, in these bonds, and we're going to find out what it goes from there. We had the 2% uh, rate go to below 4% today, so you'd think the bonds would be going wacko to the upside, but they're not because that's bullish to bonds, and yet they're not responding to it. So that's why we're watching that one very, very closely. And then finally was the natural gas. Get it up here. Look at this natural gas. This was unbelievable. Yesterday, uh, we went right down to the 361% retracement. Where is the right – there, I just want to get rid of that. Hold on. We're going to go from here to there, right there, right at the 61. Just misses it by a heartbeat, by half a buck. Goes up and matches the high again, and then comes all the way down. And what it's doing now is it's just pulling back to another 61% retracement. We're sitting there just about there right now. So that's going to tell us whether we start to move higher in this. So that's what we're paying attention to in the natural gas. Okay, let's take a little break here. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Mike Moore. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and we have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on the line, and uh, maybe he can tell us what's going on in the, the Red Sea, the Straits of Hormuz. What's going on over there, Mike? I don't know. You'd be able to tell me better than I'd be able to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. <laughs> yep, I'm strictly... So what you're looking at here. We just ran into some resistance up here at 75, it looks like. Well, what's your feeling here? Can you see my screen Okay. Yep, looks like we're in good shape. Okay, so we're going to start off with crude. <clears throat> so the crude oil, we're just holding right here. We just held this exhaustion level right here. What does that mean? That means on this lower time frame move up, that this is likely entering into a just a lower time frame bearish correction against this move before slash if resuming another new bull structure. Now, obviously, it could either be a bearish correction or it could start into a whole new bear trend. It's hard to tell. But on this higher time frame structure from up here, okay, on the uh, the high of the 27th of uh, September, I believe that right now we're, we're in the in a phase of correction against that move down because we'd held exhaustion that we talked about on our last show down here with that little red line. Let me just pull this up here. We held exhaustion at 67.98 and it bounced $7.07. A little bit more than that today. Thursday, we also left a moderate bullish reversal below that warned a higher trade for days. But I said that um, this would, the, the trade above this high would warn we're in the last stretch of the structure. So we held this little square here, which represents exhaustion and says that we're likely heading into a bearish correction against this move up. So on a higher time frame, and I don't normally extrapolate this much on this, but if this is going to be a full-blown bullish correction against the higher time frame move down, that is not due to um, be completed until like after the, the um, 14th of January. So what we may see here is a correction against this move up for a number of days and then the start of a whole other bull structure higher especially if, well, this line isn't very, uh, that's not fully formed yet, but in the RBOB or unleaded gasoline, it does have a fully formed form formation here. We held it right here on the high today, pulled off a bit. But if we take that out, that's going to have um, fairly significant projections to the upside of 6.5 cents, minimum 25 cents plus maximum. Um, so this would be the real pivotal line I'd be watching just in the complex. If we broke above there decently and fell back down through it decently, then that would war I'd be out of all long as I'd be short and be looking for this to come off. And then just a reminder, you know, the, your products are usually the ones leading these moves 85 to 90% of the time, as has been the case uh, in this run up. Now they're just sort of rolling over. Could we look at the RBOB first, uh, Mike? Yeah. So the RBOB has been rallying up a bit here. This is um, – so we held exhaustion. Let me just back up a little bit. We held exhaustion above with a 270.21 high. We've been talking about this on past shows, and we rolled over 73.49 cents. There's a whole bunch of other bearish projections. Those are all on hold. Then we held exhaustion below at 197.94 and rallied 24.5 cents. And we left a moderate bullish reversal below in here. Last Thursday, warned a higher trade for days slash weeks. We've been rallying for now the fifth day into that. And then I said decent trade above 221.89 minus 1.5 ticks per hour. We'll project this upward to 65, 6.5 cents minimum, 25 cent plus maximum. And just a reminder for those of you that may not understand how to calculate these 25 cent maximum, that's going to be the equivalent of over ten, what would be an over ten dollar move in the crude on a, on a dollar basis, if that makes sense. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and then in the heating oil, 
Similarly, we left a, a minor bullish reversal below five days ago, then a moderate bullish reversal below three days ago, all suggesting higher trade. Let me just pull that up in here. I'm going to kind of just stick to the lower time frame stuff today so we can go through as many as possible. Trade above uh, 250.20, more to decent strength. We've seen 23.38 cents of that so far and a little bit more than that today. Um, and then I said here this morning, the break above 272.50 and back below may bring in pressure into the AM. So that was the break back below right in here. And then when I, I wrote this earlier this morning, I said the break back below there are likely bringing pressure. We're seeing that pressure and the failure below here, we may see even, even more pressure today. Do you want to look at the Brent and the gas oil or would you like to look yeah, at the next? Yeah, uh, I, I haven't seen Brent in a long time. I'd personally like to see, and then we'll, after that, we'll take a look at the heating oil, okay? Yep, Brent is very, uh, very similar picture. Left a moderate bullish reversal below or a minor one and then a moderate one been rallying ever since. And this also, I said, was likely in the last stage of this structure upward. Um, I said that if it did take out 8076, that would change the picture here and suggest that this has more longevity. But it held just below 8076 and started to roll over here. If this makes some more headway down in here. I think we're going to just roll over into a bearish correction maybe before slash if resuming higher trade. Um, and then the gas oil, very similar to heating oil, that has rallied up also. I'm not really going through a lot of the projections we had in here, but the uh, Brent held exhaustion at 72.40 to 183, the 72.29 low and bounced $8 over $8. And then the gas oil also, I said we're likely in a bullish correction or trend against the move down from 830.50. If so, the minimum target is 8.1850. So we, we didn't hit the 8.1850. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me back up a little bit. I did say a number of days ago, though, that RBOB had a minimum target of 221.68. I'd said that when we were down in here, and we just hit that uh, two days ago. But the heating oil and the, <clears throat> the heating oil has its minimum target up here at 278.30, which we have not hit yet. And the Gas oil has a target up here at 1850. We haven't hit yet either, which suggests to me, and I don't like to extrapolate too far out there, but we may see a, bear, a minor bearish correction before starting into a new bullish structure to go up and hit these levels. Currently, right now, we're just hitting this. We're holding this exhaustion right here and rolling over a bit. Would you like to look at the natural gas? Or yes, you have any sir. We're rocking and rolling. Yeah, I'd like to see that. We'll be right back with Mike Moore and more analytics. I'm sorry, we got to pay a few bills here. Be right back. It's Christmas. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the market with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. back folks speaking with mike more of more analytics and we're talking about natural gas uh can you get propane in your area mike because there was no, none available here in tucson um it's heating my pool right now <laughs> oh well don't have to worry about that here okay all right that's what i wanted to know thank you go right ahead please um yeah sorry i mean the lab i heated the pool up for the kids for the they're out they're on vacation for the week so Oh, okay. Anyway, in natural gas, uh, the trade below 346.90 brought in 1.234 pressure, and then I warned the trade back below 229.40 may bring in strength. We've seen a 303 ticks of that. So all these bearish calls up here on hold. We left a minor bullish reversal below over here on the right um, on 1214.23. We attained 153 ticks from, from that open. So right now, kind of a question mark. I'm still generally bullish. We got bullish from the break above this red line here at, uh, what was it, uh, 229.40, and then left that bullish reversal below. We're consolidating here. If we come back up and take out these areas, I think this could extend more to the upside. But I also think that j this general structure here, this may just be a pullback up here before one last move down to take out these lows and test some exhaustion levels down here. We'll have to see. If we fail back down through 240.50 decently, that'll negate this minor bullish reversal below, and that'll increase the likelihood that we're going to head down and take out these lows. You have any questions on that, or you want me to take no, a look at pretty good. Could, could we switch over to uh, – I want to make sure we cover the uh, gold. That's a gold, gold and silver. If you could do those, I'd like to see those. Yeah. In fact, we've had requests for those. Okay, gold – Shut that for a second. Here we go. Okay, just on a recent basis, the failure below uh, 2089 warned of decent pressure. We saw 101.1 of that and a number of other bearish formations. Um, those are all on hold. And the trade above 210.60 was a sign of renewed strength and possible run for the highs again, although that is not a projection necessarily. And Thursday, we left a minor bullish reversal below. So that was right in here. We left this minor bullish reversal below. If we leave a maintained gap lower, 
today or in the next few days. That'll leave a minor bear, uh, bearish reversal above. But right now, this is bullish and uh, does suggest a likelihood of heading back to the highs, but that's not a projection. Meaning that's not, this isn't a formation that projects it up there. It's just a good likelihood okay. based on the structure. Um, just on the day right here, I'm, I'm, uh, we've been bearish since the failure back below this 2059.60 level, but that's just the uh, short term. Okay. And we've already talked about since we took out that peak there. Did you want to look at the uh, S&P 500 or Bitcoin? Absolutely. The whole world wants to watch that one because it. Oh, this should pretty be easy. Just, just point up, right? <laughs> this is true. Well, listen, a lot of people can say, hey, just been pointed up and we're bullish and all that. But you've been having – you've had me on this show long enough that the people watching this remember when I talked about holding exhaustion below at 41.15. Right. Yep. I we remember that. that. Absolutely. Yes. We held that with the 4122 and a quarter low. And I said that that was a major exhaustion low. We have bounced 702 points since then. Yep. Then we left the minor bullish, then we yep. left the minor bullish reversal below, we rallied 602. Then the break above this is brought in 546. Remember, I said the solid penetration above this line put us above a substantial formation that warned of higher trade for days slash weeks. We've seen 495 points from that. And then uh, the trade above 44.1750. Remember I said that that projected this upward, like I think it was 300 points at the time. It decreased the projection a bit over time. Uh -huh. But by the time it got down to 261, we took that out. We've seen 406.75 of that so far. I won't go through the rest of these right here, but <clears throat> a note I said, note, we are likely in the last stretch of the structure upward from 3502 upward with major possible exhaustion at 48.22 and a quarter, which we've just taken out slightly, but not really enough to say it's been taken out. And um, now I said I would be wary of any kind of bearish reversals of a, up here, because if one of them causes a bearish correction against this move up, uh, it should exceed 512 points from whatever the high is. Wow, that's a big prediction. Yeah, we came within a heartbeat of what you just said. That's correct. Right. So this, I'm just going to, again, forgive all my weird lines and all that stuff. I'm going from a 60-minute chart up to a daily minute chart. Okay. So this whole structure here, this is likely in that last stretch of that structure. Now, we're just holding the top of this exhaustion level right here. And I would note, if you look over here, this is right where the old major highs of the market were. 48.08 and a quarter. So this is a pretty key area here. I mean, if this was to leave some sort of minor bearish reversal above or really fail back down through all this stuff, then this thing could start getting ugly on the downside for a while. And what would that turn into? Well, I don't really know. It might just be a bearish correction that would be significant before possibly a whole nother bull structure. Or it could be the beginning of a bearish trend. We'd have to see. But I would be extremely cautious with my longs here. Uh, we've had a really nice extended hard ride up uh, with very little um, breathing room except for in here. So when this does come off, uh, it could be it could be pretty sharp as well. So just be protect be protective, and um, I'd I'd have some place to have my stops to get out of my longs and take other shots instead of riding it down against myself. <laughs> I any agree with that one. <laughs> any questions on there before I go to the Bitcoin? Let's go to Bitcoin. That's going to be a really interesting one. Okay. Oh, by the way, if we take this top exhaustion level out at 48.22 and a quarter, the next one is going to be around 49.51 even. These aren't okay. exact, mind you, because this is a continuation contract that has rollover spreads between the contracts, but in general. Okay. Um, and then finally, the Bitcoin here. Uh, you know, we've been bullish since we broke above 16,275. You've seen 28,985 a coin from that. We had a big pullback within that, and then the break above 25,335 to 585 signaled. We put in a low and are in a bullish trend. We've seen 19,675 of that so far. We had a number of other bullish projections in here. I won't go through right now. Uh, but then most recently, the trade above 42,330. 
Now warrants a renewed strength. That was a break above this line, broke above it, pulled right back to it in a rallying now. If we fail back down through this line or through this formation, then that would warrant a renewed pressure. Do you got to go for a commercial break? Or are you no, 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 not yet. I, I don't think so. I'm checking. The, we got another uh, 42 seconds, so please continue. Okay, this line right here um, oh, it comes in around around 41, let's just say. A decent break below there okay. would project this downward 2,800 minimum, 4,800 plus maximum. Okay, now we got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back with Mike Moore and more analytics. Stay tuned, folks. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay with Mike Moore more analytics Mike tell the folks uh, how they can reach you uh, for your service and stuff okay give me one second <clears throat> right <clears throat> right here oh can you see that okay yes everything's good <clears throat> so feel free to reach out to me be glad to hear from you thanks for watching us on the show by the way and thank you to TFNN for having me on it's always an honor Larry to be 
Well, uh, it's great to have you here, too, that's for sure. Yeah, you've had some great calls here. But, boy, we got volatile markets, and that's what you're good at. So we're going to have you on again soon. So thanks for joining us, Mike, and happy holidays to you and your family, and we'll have you on next year. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. For this we appreciate time. you too, folks. Mike Moore, More Analytics. Thank you very much. Folks, uh, we're going to have tomorrow, our guest is going to be Rich Anderson. And then on Friday, uh, we are going to have Peter Elides, for sure, 100%. Uh, I got that notice yesterday. So we'll have Peter on Friday. So he'll give us an idea of what he's looking at uh, in the stock market. It'll be, be exciting. So we're over some exciting times here, which is what we like to see. And uh uh, we'll be seeing what's going on soon. Anyway, let's uh, keep in mind that you want to do something nice for your neighbors during this time of the year, folks, because a lot of them are going through a lot of really bad stuff in their lives. And uh, it, just in our neighborhood here, we see people that are having a difficult time, ma mainly because of the elderly ages, of course. Not me, of course. I'm just a young fellow. But anyway, that's what you want to be doing. It's all about giving, not about receiving at Christmas time. You get more if you give than you receive. I can and believe that in 100% of the time and uh, always have. Anyway, let's keep in mind that that's what we want to be doing. And as I mentioned, tomorrow we're going to have Rich Anderson. And then on Friday, we're going to have Peter Lighty. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow at the usual time. And may God bless. Bye.